It is now time for the 30 man Hardcore Royal Rumble match. And it is for the WSC Hardcore Championship. And now it is time to find out who drew number one. Introducing entrant number one, weighing in at 385 pounds, Rock Strowman. The monster among men entering at number one, a very unlucky position. It was last year that Braun Strowman entered at this exact number, number one, and he had to defend his WSC Hardcore Championship, and it was in that match that he lost the championship and ever since Strowman has never been able to claim the title again and now Strowman out here tonight at number one for redemption and now it is time to find out who drew number two yowie wowie Bray Wyatt the Pied Piper of Puppets entering this matchup at number two introducing entrant number two Bray Wyatt! We're used to seeing the darker, demonic side of Bray Wyatt in these types of matches, but Bray Wyatt out here to have some fun. Bray Wyatt, a surprise here in this Rumble, and look who's in the ring with Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, and these two go way back. They know each other very well. This is going to get interesting. Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman starting out this rubble here. This is bound to be a good one. And Braun, oh my God. Launching it into the corner with a drop kick. And oh man, look at the speed of Strowman. Destroying him in the corner and throwing him around the ring like he's nothing. Maybe a short night for Wyatt. Here he goes over the top rope. No, Wyatt hangs on. He's still in this. And now Wyatt fighting back against Strowman finally. And now, Wyatt, oh, that's not why he's gone up to the top rope and he just gets destroyed out of midair, caught with a massive clothesline. And Wyatt not eliminated, he went under the bottom rope. You have to go over the top rope and wait a second. Oh my, Wyatt with a barbed wire steel chair, but here comes the Strowman Express. Bulldozes Wyatt on the outside. Strowman has got Wyatt where he wants him, and oh my. A monster with a barbed wire steel chair in hand, and he obliterates Wyatt. He smashed that barbed wire steel chair over the head of Wyatt. It's getting hardcore already in the Hardcore Championship Royal Rumble. Strowman with a running power slam. We are awaiting number three. Who can it be? Uh-oh. Oh my, can it be? Wyatt eliminated. The lights are out in the WSC arena, but The Fiend has emerged. The Fiend is here. The alter ego of Bray Wyatt is here and is coming for Strowman. Strowman may be moments away from elimination. The man in McCall locked in, but a choke slam by the monster. Stops the Fiend in his tracks for the moment, but the Fiend rises. The Fiend is not going down that easily. And a Uranagi to Strowman. And a Centon. The Fiend is here. The three-time WSC Hardcore Champion is looking for the fourth. Going for the Sister Abigail. Pushed off. Oh, he's got him up. Running power slam. No, pushed off into the corner. The Fiend. He's got him, Sister Abigail, plants him. The Fiend, listening to the voices in his head, there's no telling what a man like The Fiend could do in a match like this, where everything is legal. All you have to do is throw your opponent over the top rope and The Fiend has got that massive mallet and he's looking to make good use of it. Cracks him over the head with the mallet. Oh no, The Fiend gonna crush the ribs, oh my god! 
destroying the ribs of Sturman with the mallet and now eliminating Braun Sturman. The monster is gone and the fiend stands tall as he awaits number four. Oh yeah, it's the leader of the Yes Movement. It's Daniel Bryan at number four. And Bryan and the Fiend, they have a history also. They go way back. I don't know if Daniel Bryan stands a chance against The Fiend, especially in this type of match. Daniel Bryan is a very talented performer. He's definitely got heart. He's definitely got the skills. But The Fiend is an entirely different animal. And Bryan looking good so far, taking down The Fiend with two consecutive clotheslines. Clothesline almost took the head off of Brian, and now he's trying to do just that. Snap in the neck of Brian. The fiend, ruthless in his assault, and now sending Brian out of the ring into the chairs, and Brian is eliminated. The fiend has eliminated two men so far, and now he awaits number five. Oh. It's Mick Foley, the hardcore legend. And these two have a history. Remember the full brawl match, the last time we saw Mick Foley as his alter ego, Mankind, got sent off the top of a rooftop through the stack of tables. A stack of tables that were endless. And we haven't seen Mankind since, but now Mick Foley coming out to take out the Fiend. The double arm DDT. And now Mr. Sucko. Mr. Sucko is here, and now he's going to show him how to do the real Mandible Claw. But the Fiend rises, and the Mandible Claw locked in on Mick Foley. Dueling Mandible Claws here in the Royal Rumble match. And Mick Foley with a low blow. The low blow. you got to do something to stop the Fiend. I guess that's what he had to do. And now Mick Foley, the hardcore legend. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thumbtacks. Mick Foley introducing thumbtacks. Maybe this will do it. Maybe he'll put away the Fiend, but no! It backfires! And the Fiend hits a Urinagi on Foley into the thumbtacks. See ya bye! Foley, but no! He hangs on! Foley hangs on! The Fiend trying to get rid of Foley. Foley still hanging on. He's still in this. Still got some fight left. The countdown is on to number six. Who's coming out next? But the Fiend meanwhile charging through Foley. And Foley is eliminated. Who's it gonna be? He's back. WSC's resident superhero, the one and only Ricochet has returned. Ricochet coming down to the ring. We haven't seen him since Deadly Games 3 when he was thrown off the top of the Deadly Games. An almost career-ending injury, courtesy of The Fiend. And now, he's out to exact some revenge, trying desperately to try and eliminate The Fiend. But The Fiend, fighting back here. I don't know if Ricochet's still 100%. It was a massive fall at the top of the Deadly Games, 45 feet through the announcer's table, and the recoil, and he's looking good against The Fiend. Ricochet. Looking to go high risk, high reward, on up to the top rope. Oh no! It doesn't look like it's gonna pay off here. Mandible claw, and there goes Ricochet! Exploding through our announcer's table. Ricochet eliminated by The Fiend. And The Fiend once again destroys Ricochet. And now, again, The Fiend picking him off one by one. Who's coming out at number seven? Oh my god, this is gonna be good! The purveyor of violence, Mr. Four-Time Mox, John Moxley is here! And these two, with a never-ending rivalry, these two hate each other! 
and John Moxley will not forget what the Fiend did, kidnapping his wife, making him go through mental torture in the Firefly Funhouse match, and he's gone right after the Fiend. Moxley all over the Fiend, try to eliminate him here. Can he do it? The Fiend is teetering. Moxley almost got him over the top rope. Can he get him? Will the Fiend be eliminated here? The Fiend trying to fight back, and he does. The Fiend stops it for the meantime. Looking for Sister Abigail here, pushed off. Now Mox charging the Fiend, gets sent over to the apron. Mox hangs on, and now gone up to the top rope and hits an elbow drop. And now Moxley looking for the paradigm shift, and he nails it. How good would it feel for Moxley if he can somehow eliminate the Fiend from this match after everything the Fiend has put Moxley and his family through. And now Moxley with the old reliable, the barbed wire baseball bat, the trademark of John Moxley. And maybe this could do the trick. Maybe he can put him away with a barbed wire baseball bat, but no, he gets caught. Sister Abigail, the Sister Abigail to Moxley. And now the Manimal Claw, Manimal Claw locked in. No hope for Moxley as he fades out to the Mandible Claw. The Fiend is about to eliminate John Moxley here. But wait a second, the Usos, the Usos with a double super kick. The Usos eliminating the Fiend. Remember the Fiend attacked the Usos two weeks ago and now they got their revenge here eliminating the Fiend. The Fiend is furious. The Usos have just screwed over the Fiend. And now Moxley, Moxley with a barbed wire baseball bat, beating the Fiend to a bloody pulp. Moxley exacting some revenge here as we await number eight. Bro! The original bro, Matt Riddle, the current WSC Hardcore Champion, defending his title in this very match. Number eight, not too good of a position if he wants to last to the very end. And as you can see, the fingers on his right hand taped up after they were broken courtesy of Pete Dunne, his former tag team partner. It'll be interesting if that will play a part in this match. He's definitely not 100%. As you can see, his feet are taped up after going into thumbtacks in the Gauntlet match for the Hardcore Tag Team Championships. But he's looking good here against Moxley. Trying to eliminate Moxley. Can he get him over the top rope? This is going to be a tall task for Riddle to retain his championship here. But as we've seen from Riddle over the past few months, he is definitely capable of overcoming the odds. We are awaiting number nine. And here comes KO, Kevin Owens, looking to stun the world here. Former WSC Hardcore Champion, who cashed in his Money in the Bank contract to win the title. Of course, he beat me for it, but now I got Money in the Bank. And I will be a future world champion as Kevin Owens hits the cannonball and another one to John Moxley. Kevin Owens may just do it again tonight. He may become WSC Hardcore Champion. Looking to eliminate Moxley here. Who's number 10? One of a kind, Rob Van Dam. This man knows a thing or two about getting hardcore. Going to introduce a chair into this matchup. RVD off the top rope takes down Kevin Owens and takes down John Moxley and a super kick to Riddle and now body slam to Moxley and he's got him set up here looking for the rolling thunder to Moxley and Owens Rob Van Dam with some of the best offense in WC and a Van Daminator Van Daminator turns Matt Riddle inside out and now looking to eliminate the current champion. What a game changer that would be if Matt Riddle lost the championship this early. That would be guaranteed a new champion in this match. Who's coming out number 11? Oh my God. Oh my. Things are about to change in this match. Game changer right here. 
Yes, sir, a six foot nine, 487 pounds. Good luck trying to get this guy over the top rope. Oh man, everyone's at a standstill looking at Viscera. I know it's early, but this may be my pick right here. Viscera takes down Moxley, takes down Owens, and a sidewalk slam to Riddle. Who's gonna stop Viscera here? Van Dam trying to stop him, but he gets a Samoan drop for his efforts. Big Vis. Oh, he's set up here. Oh my god, crushing him with a splash. That may be all she wrote for Rob Van Dam, and yes it is. Viscera eliminates Van Dam. And now Moxley, we know how hard this guy works. He is definitely the workhorse of WSC, trying his best to try to eliminate Viscera, but I don't think he can do it alone. Viscera drops Moxley. Man, Viscera, how do you stop a guy like this? How are you gonna get him over the top rope? No single man could do this. And now we await number 12. Who's it gonna be? As Vistra works on Moxley in the corner. Oh my! Seth freaking Rollins! It's time to burn him down! Out with the Messiah! In with the Architect! The old Rollins is back! Seth Rollins never won a WSC Hardcore Championship! Tonight may be the night! Takes down Vistra! A super kick! Viscera is down. Rollins going for the curb stop. Oh no, he got caught. Slammed by Viscera. Stopped in his tracks, halting the momentum of Rollins. And he may be gone, but Moxley with a steel chair. Moxley and Rollins. Are they going to work together here? Yes. Moxley and Rollins, two thirds to the shield, working together to take down Viscera. Trying to eliminate Viscera now. Owens and Riddle. All trying to work together to eliminate the biggest man in this match. Viscera, can they do it? Who's coming out next? It's time to play the game. The Cerebral Assassin, Triple H, number 13. And he's got that sledgehammer in hand. The same sledgehammer he used to destroy his best friend, Shawn Michaels. Everyone trying to get rid of Viscera, but he pushes everybody off. And Triple H with the sledgehammer. He stunned Viscera. Everyone working together. Can they eliminate Viscera? Can they do it? All of them working together. And yes, they do it. Five men. It took five men to eliminate Viscera. And now everybody going out of here. Every man for himself in this Royal Rumble match. Owens close to being eliminated. The countdown is on to number 14. And here comes the winner of the second Hardcore Championship Royal Rumble. The three-time Hardcore Champion, the Charismatic Enigma is here. And Hardy with the poetry in motion. Jeff Hardy knows what it takes to win this kind of matchup. He's done it before, can he do it again? Hardy with the whisper in the wind to Owens. Jeff Hardy, a three-time hardcore champion. Maybe looking to get on Moxley's level with four times. Moxley's stopping on the broken fingers of Riddle. Riddle barely hanging on, hanging on with his feet. Moxley going after Hardy. They've had their issues in the past. Trying to eliminate the former Rumble winner here. Can he do it? Now Triple H trying to eliminate Moxley. Moxley teetering here. The game almost got him. Oh, he hangs on. Barely hangs on here. Now we await number 15 in this match. Halfway through. Oh my God. The monster of this is here. This guy knows about getting hardcore. He loves the brutality of these kinds of matches. And as you can see, that nail covered wooden plank he calls Janice. He's got that in hand and he's looking to do some damage. Takes down Owens with Janice and now to Riddle. And now Triple H trying to stop this monster. Triple H looking for the pedigree here. Can he hit it? Now he gets launched into a back body drop. Hardy gets a black hole slam. Now Rollins up the top rope. Oh, he got caught. 
He got caught. Chook slam onto a chair. And now Moxley going after Abyss. These two, this would be a dream matchup for sure. He's got him up for the shock treatment. Oh my God. The monster Abyss can do some damage with Janice in hand. And now we're sizing up Moxley. Oh my God. Oh my God. Moxley is busted open. The nails into his face. Abyss bringing that hardcore style into this matchup. And he's trying to eliminate Moxley. This could be all over for Moxley here. It's time to shock the system. Adam Cole, baby, is here in the Royal Rumble. Number 16. A fan favorite here in this match. Many fans would love to see Adam Cole walk out as champion. Trash can over the head of Kevin Owens. And oh my god, unique offense with a super kick. The trash can over the head of Jeff Hardy in a Panama sunrise to Matt Riddle. Adam Cole cleaning house here, taking everybody down, and now trying to eliminate the champion. Now Triple H trying to eliminate Cole. He's going to be number 17. Oh, it's time. It's time for the Hurt Business. Some Hurt about to be delivered by the CEO of the Hurt Business, Bobby Lashley. Legs, Kevin Owens. The power of Lashley. And now, Jeff Hardy looking for the twist of fate. Oh, now he got caught. Caught. Hurt lock. Hurt lock applied. The full Nelson. Jeff Hardy. Desperately trying to get out of it. But now Lashley powering him over the top rope. But he hangs on. Hangs on by his feet on the ropes. And now Lashley realizes this. Lashley with a spear. Spear off the apron. Jeff Hardy launched into the barbed wire board. Oh my lord. What have we just witnessed? Jeff Hardy absolutely sent across into the barbed wire board and now Abyss all over Lashley. Lashley hanging on and he's sizing up Abyss here. Spear! Spear takes down Abyss. And now Lashley going to eliminate Abyss. Wow! Lashley takes out the monster. Massive elimination for Lashley. Moxley in trouble here. Triple H working on him in the corner. Could Moxley be eliminated here? And now Riddle going after Lashley. Who's coming out next? Oh my. It's the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes making his debut here in WSC. Now Cody eyeing that table. He's setting up a table here. Cody got some plans. Wants to make a good impression here in his first match in WSC and a Cody cutter. And now, oh, he got him. He caught him. Crossroads. Crossroads to Seth Rollins. Now Cody with a drop kick to Kevin Owens. Now Cody, oh my. Looking to hit a suplex. Possibly put Kevin Owens through the table. Trying to get Kevin Owens up, but he just can't do it. Oh, he's got him. Oh, Kevin Owens lands on the apron. Misses the clothesline. Owens pulls Cody to the apron. These two trading blows on the apron. Not a good position to be in. It only takes one slip, one mistake, and they can fall and be eliminated. Clothesline sends him back in the ring. Oh, my God. Oh my god! It's the great Kali! My god! Oh no! This massive man, this massive human being, 7 foot 1, 347 pounds! Everybody in the ring at a standstill! The great Kali is marching down to the ring! Who's gonna stop this giant? Kevin Owens and Cody! Going after Kali, but it's no use. Kali chopping down Cole. And a massive headbutt. Chopping down Triple H. Everybody being taken down by Kali. Riddle 
trying to choke hold on Kali, but he just gets tossed. And now Lashley looking for the hurt lock, hurt lock on Kali, but it's no use. Kali too big to apply the hurt lock. And now Kali going to eliminate Lashley. Kali eliminates the big man in Lashley. And now Cody, Cody trying to eliminate Kali, but he can't even move him. He hasn't even moved him at all in a big shot. Cody's stunned. This giant's got him up. Punjabi plunge through the table. There goes Cody Rhodes. Kali is one scary giant. And Cole hits him with a chair, but it didn't face Kali at all. He's got Cole up over his head through the tables. Cole goes through the stack of tables and is eliminated. Kali is dominant here in the Rumble. Who can stop him? And here comes Hangman Adam Page making his debut. Looking to do some cowboy, you know what. And now he, he does not look like he has a good chance here. He has to go face to face with Kali. Moxley gets a Punjabi plunge from Kali. Now, Adam Page with a Buckshot Lariat. But it, it didn't face Kali at all. What the hell? And now Kali, oh my God. Oh no, he's got the vice grip. The vice grip on Hangman Adam Page, crushing the head with those massive hands of Kali, crushing the head of Adam Page with the vice grip. The blood coming out of the mouth of Hangman Adam Page. Kali has destroyed Adam Page and a Punjabi plunge eliminates Hangman. Kali is just destroying the field here in this Rumble match. I don't envy anybody coming out next. Wait a second. It's the freak. Lars Sullivan. And I don't see the great Kali throwing this guy around. The Freak may just stand a chance here. The Freak and the great Kali coming face to face in the rumble. Triple H with the sledgehammer. Freak accident. The Freak accident by Lars to the great Kali. The strength of Lars Sullivan. And he eliminates him. Kali is eliminated by Lars Sullivan. But watch your back, Lars. The game with the sledgehammer, but he caught it. Freak accident. Lars Sullivan plants Triple H, but Seth Rollins and John Moxley put the beating on the Freak. Oh, here comes the animal, Batista. Batista's here, close line to Moxley. A spine buster for Seth Rollins. Final flash missed by Riddle, and a spear, spear! And now Lars, the freak, trying to eliminate the animal, but he reverses and throws him over the ropes. Misses with the clothesline, but Batista connects and eliminates Lars. The freak eliminated by the animal. Batista looking strong in this matchup. Kevin Owens looking for the stunner, but he got caught, he got caught. Batista put him up. And he hits the Batista bomb! Batista bomb to KO! And there goes Kevin Owens! Batista eliminates Owens and Sullivan! But Triple H! Triple H trying to eliminate Batista! Batista trying to hang on here! Batista fights off Triple H! Number 23, Le Champion, Chris Jericho! Jericho made his debut in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And now, this is his second appearance here in WSC as Moxley and Rollins taking a fight to Batista. Jericho not looking like he's in any rush to get in the ring here. Moxley and Rollins waiting for Jericho. And Jericho, there goes Jericho! Just like that, Chris Jericho is eliminated. That has to be the quickest elimination in WFC history. Jericho is outraged. He cannot believe 
He was eliminated that quickly. Brain to the referee. He wants to get back in this match. Jericho eliminated just like that. What have we just seen? Oh my God. Here comes the big red machine. Former WFC Hardcore Tag Team Champion. Kane is here. And there he goes. Right off the top rope. Uppercut takes down Riddle. Big boot. Kane looking for the tombstone on Batista. Oh no, he got pushed off. Batista trying to eliminate Kane. Kane coming in like a house of fire with Hellfire and Brimstone. And now he's got it for that choke slam. Who's coming up next? And it's the phenomenal one. AJ Styles, number 25. AJ Styles would be a good pick for this match. I think he has what it takes. And this is a good position to come in at. Number 25, perfect number for AJ Styles here. And a phenomenal forearm takes down Kane. This is with a roundhouse. Kane lay kick stuns the champion. Now AJ trying to eliminate the current champion, Matt Riddle. This would be a huge elimination. Triple H trying to eliminate AJ. Trying to eliminate Riddle also. And they both go over the top rope, but they hang on. And he comes the later off superstar. Two-time WFC hardcore champion. Spear. Spear to the game. Spear to Batista. Rollins misses a clothesline. And a spear for you too. Edge spearing through everybody here, but a big boot sends Edge through the ropes. He is not eliminated. He went through the ropes, not over the top. Now Edge in possession of a chair and a headshot takes out Kane. Kane is stunned and now trying to eliminate the big red machine. And here comes the master of the 619, the greatest masked wrestler of all time. It's Rey Mysterio. Wait. He done! It's been done! He's beaten the hell out of Mysterio! What the hell is he doing here? I specifically said he could not be in this matchup! And he's just taken out Mysterio! What the hell is he doing? After brutally assaulting Matt Riddle, breaking his fingers, I said he would not be in this match. I find him $100,000, but yet he comes out and he attacks Rey Mysterio and takes his spot. And Matt Riddle exacting some revenge here. You're not my I'm attacking the fingers of Riddle. Go and attack the broken fingers of Riddle. Riddle sending Pete Dunn through the ropes. Dunn not eliminated, went through the ropes. But a final flash, final flash. Pete Dunn is eliminated. Matt Riddle has eliminated Pete Dunn. Matt Riddle gets his payback here at the Rumble. Wait, Pete Dunn. Dunn pulling out Riddle and assaulting him here. This is uncalled for. What is he doing? Tossing Riddle over the barricade. Riddle not eliminated, but he is seriously hurt here. Pete Dunn, again, trying to screw over Matt Riddle. And now, Kofi Kingston of the New Day, entering number 28. Kofi, rolling into the ring, takes down Rollins. What athleticism. Takes down AJ, drop kick. Kofi definitely has the skills to win this match in a trouble in paradise. Number 28, a very good number for Kofi. Boy, Kane launching Kofi over the top rope, but he lands into the shopping cart. Kofi's still safe in this match. <laughs> Brothers of Destruction standing side by side. Standing in the middle of the ring surrounded by opponents. The Brothers of Destruction looking to take them all on. Former WSC Hardcore Tag Team Champions are a force to be reckoned with. And there goes the animal Batista. Eliminated by the Brothers of Destruction. Kofi gonna fly, but he got caught. Caught by Kane. Oh, he's gonna go for the run. Kofi eliminated by Kane. Now Edge, the ultimate opportunist, looking to eliminate Kane. But Undertaker not gonna allow that to happen. No sir, choke slam. 
choke slam to the rated R superstar. And now, oh, he's gone up for the ride. It may be his last, but the last ride through the table. See you by Edge. The Brothers of Destruction looking strong here as we await the final entrant in the WSC Hardcore Championship Royal Rumble. Who can it be? Oh, yeah! The Demon, Finn Balor, is here! Former WSC Hardcore Champion who defended his title in the last Hardcore Championship Royal Rumble unsuccessfully, but now he knows what he has to do. He brings out the Demon. Double drop kick takes down the Brothers of Destruction. When the war paint goes on, the more aggressive side of Finn Balor comes out to play in a drop kick. Finn Balor may be by pick to win this matchup right here. Kane charging at Balor, but he goes over the top rope. Kane holding on here. Balor trying to take out Kane, but Kane got the goozle, got it by the throat. AJ Styles eliminates Kane. The OC are in this match, Balor and AJ. But Taker is none too pleased about his brother being eliminated. Charging at him, set over the ropes. Double Pele kick. Stuns Taker, but he still hangs on. Taker's still in this. Oh wait, Moxley off the second rope eliminates the dead man. Taker eliminated. The dead man will never forget this. No, sir. But Moxley facing off with the OC, Bella and AJ, but he's not alone. Rollins is here. Two thirds of the shield versus the OC. Here we go. They're going out of here in the rumble. And now Moxley trying to eliminate the demon. He hangs on barely, but he hangs on. And now Inaguri drops Moxley. Finn going to the top rope. AJ hanging on here. AJ comes back with a forearm. And a coup de gras to Moxley. Wait, AJ with a phenomenal forearm, a double cross, he takes out the demon, every man for himself in the rumble, and now Seth with a super kick, Seth looking to eliminate AJ, but here comes the game, don't forget about Triple H, pedigree, a pedigree to Rollins, and there goes Seth Rollins. Triple H eliminating Rollins, looking to do the same to AJ, but he hangs on, barely hangs on here. AJ skinning the cat here, but he walks right into a pedigree. A pedigree from the game, and Triple H on fire here, eliminating AJ Styles. And it looks like we're down to two. We could be moments away. Triple H about to eliminate Moxley. Wait, Moxley, Moxley's got him. He's got him. Paradigm shift, a paradigm shift to the game. Moxley could be looking to be Mr. Five-Time Mox, five-time champion. Wait, Riddle, Riddle with the floating bro. I forgot about Riddle. He is not eliminated. Trying to eliminate Moxley. He hangs on, Riddle has been on the outside the whole time. He is still the champion here. Misses with the final flash, set over the top rope, but he hangs on, hanging on with the bad hand, the bad fingers, trying to hang on desperately, Triple H targeting the fingers, and there goes the champion. Matt Riddle is no longer champion. Riddle is eliminated. Moxley off the top rope with an elbow drop. And now we are guaranteed a new champion in this matchup. And now Moxley eyeing the barbed wire baseball bat. This has done the job many times for Moxley. Will it do the job tonight? Will he defeat Triple H here? Oh no, Spine Buster. Triple H has flattened Moxley. This could be it. It's game over for Moxley. If he can hit the pedigree. No, Moxley sent him over the ropes. He ends on. Ooh. Triple H with the shoulder to the midsection of Moxley. Wait, Triple H with a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer to the face. Moxley's rocked. He's seeing stars. 
to right with the sledgehammer. Oh, Moxley, the champion. The game is champion. Here is your winner and new WSC Hardcore Champion, Triple H. The King of Kings has taken the throne in WSC. Triple H wins the Hardcore Royal Rumble. And he has made history tonight being the first ever man to win the WSC Hardcore Championship and Tag Team Championship. Triple H stands tall here tonight. What a rumble match we have just witnessed. Everybody put it all on the line for the most prestigious championship in YouTube history. Through tables, barbed wire, chairs, you name it, everybody risk their bodies, risk their health for that championship right there. That's what it means to be champion. And Triple H shedding the dead weight of Shawn Michaels to become a singles champion here in WSC. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Please smash the like button if you liked it. Comment down below what you thought of the match and who should face Triple H next. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next video.